Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and an unboxing video of the Mobius Models Ford 1966 F100 Flare Side Pickup. It's the Ford Pickup Series. So I imagine there's going to be a bunch more of these other than just this one. So let's check this out. I love the stepside trucks, I always have. And I've never done a Mobius kit before, so... I had to, I, I just wanted to get into it. I've already opened this up and pulled all the stuff out of the bag, so you didn't have to listen to the popcorn like the last couple of them. And I did quickly look at the, uh, the instructions on this, and I just, the more I looked, the more impressed I got. It's, it's really nicely done. It's all in like a, a light blue and white with shading, and uh, directions on the side to tell you exactly what to do with each one so I don't know other than me being a fool this might be a pretty foolproof kit except for there's a ton of parts in here and saying that also I was impressed with the colors in the back so it, it gives you a, a kind of a what to go for and now that I've seen this I kind of like this uh, Sahara Beige, and I kind of think that Sahara Beige looks a whole lot like my Titanium Gold. So, I know I did Titanium Gold on my SS, but you might see it again here. But what I might do is I might use that Titanium Gold along in two-ton it with a light uh, sky blue either the light sky blue or I have a green coming too. And I haven't done a green kit on uh, on any of my videos. But look at how this tells you, I mean, just gives you an idea of what this is supposed to look like. It just makes it easy. I wish more kits were like this. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Revell Germany directions. So let's jump in here. We'll grab our first sprue which has our steering column sway bar and i think this is to hold the uh spare tire up and speaking of spare tires we're going to jump right over to this side of the, of the desk and i'm going to pull out five spare tires they must have had a sale on them and they got brand new ones of all of them these things have a real predominant ring on here so if you wanted to try to just do a, like a white wall you could paint right up into that ring and it would it, it'd be perfect. Or you could do just a, a real narrow white wall or do like a red wall, whatever you'd want to do there. Uh, I'm going to leave them the black. This is going to be a little bit more like a uh, brand spanking new uh, 1966 farmer's work truck that he just saved all his money up for and, and bought right off the showroom. But we're looking good. Nice detail on the tread. We have just a very small uh, mold line on this that'll be easy to rub out and then we'll hit it with the sanding and darken it up, but it's not very deep either. So we'll have to watch ourselves so we don't sand away all the, uh, all the detail on that. So again, there's five and in the box they go and we'll grab our next suspension, our vents, battery, there's no battery cable, uh, battery cables at all, and nor are there any um, of the uh, cable clamps. They're the post clamps, so we'll have to make post clamps for this. That'll be a fun one. Maybe I'll do a video on post clamps and wires for that. Um, we'll see, see how it comes down. We have our wheel backs, look nice, our shocks, a couple of hoses, not sure where they're gonna go, but they're they're really sharp here. They already got the uh, um, clamps put right on them. We have some kind of a reservoir, I think, and it looks like that might be a jack, but I'm not sure. I don't know that much about this old truck and I'm not gonna even act like I do. I mean, some of the parts you can tell what they are, but I don't have a clue, 
So I'm not going to try to lie to you. We got our one steely, the rear end, what looks like steering linkage coming down, the front of the rear end, some kind of suspension work here that's finely detailed. I mean, geez, is that fine. We have our uh, master cylinder and vacuum boost, and we have one, two, three, four pedals. And with four pedals, that's telling me that 1966, this thing might have had either they're showing this as the high beam switch or the starter switch was on the ground. So I'm not sure, but it's there. That sure is a pedal. We'll have to see as we build, because like I said, all the parts are named in the directions. We got our twin I-beam frame, a drive shaft, crossover that looks like where the engine would mount on. Very nicely detailed. And I'm telling you, I'm noticing right off the bat that the mold line is not huge on this. And on here, there's no flash, no mold line, no nothing. Not sure what those are for. But this is crisply clean. And it should be. It's a brand new kit. I mean, not a brand new kit. It's been out for a while. But it hasn't been out since 1964. <laughs> like the last couple I've been doing. Ah, uh, there we go. We got our shocks. We got a tailgate that I really don't think this is going on mine. It's awful wide. So this must be for the uh, the straight side. We got a bumper, another cross member, a radiator that looks a little big. The steering. We got our steering wheel with a, quite a bit of flash on it. That's the first flash I've seen, and. It doesn't look like it's going to be that hard to deal with, but it will take a little bit of time to make it right. But you know what? If you're hurrying, then you're missing out on all the fun anyhow. Nice steelies. They really are. And wait till you see the chrome that comes with this. It's, it's really worth it. Now, here we go. We got our engine. And we have another radiator, and this is the radiator that more than likely goes with this engine. Uh, straight six, prittle, prettily done, huh? <laughs> I meant to say real pretty. Um, no mold lines, no nothing, but we got some really crisp casting. On two, three, four, five, six. So that's our spark plugs on that side, I think. We have our... Um, air cleaner, nice transmission, linkage on it, fan blade is done very well, our uh, oil pan, again the radiator, we have an intake and exhaust, a hose, awful thick hose, bell housing, fan belt, our uh, nice looking uh, valve cover a couple of very small parts here not sure what they are one of them is probably a windshield wiper and that buzz was my dryer is done so i'll have clean clothes for tomorrow nice looking exhaust here very nicely done i like it i got an oil filter our alternator we got a vent cap distributor a couple of hoses. I imagine those are the radiator hoses. So that might be that, uh, what do they call it? Waste heat hose that they run up to the air cleaner. Not sure if this engine has that. Like I said, I don't know Ford engines. Don't even want to try to become an expert on them because they're just, I don't know. I've, I've just learned too much about the GMs to switch. Not saying I don't like Fords. I do love Fords. Look at the bed. Wow, nice. The rivets are really nice in here. There is a little bit of shrink line in there, but you know what? It's not that bad. Um, not even sure if it'll show up when uh, when we do it. We'll do the wood bed in here. Uh, this sticks up nice and easy enough to where if you wanted a moth towel pen, you can, or 
I think it'd be easy to use bare metal foil if you wanted to go that route too. We got the back and here is our tailgate. Spin it around and it says Ford. It's very light on there. Um, didn't see anything in the decals for it, but we will have to use a sharpened toothpick uh, or my four-odd brush to do that because I want that to save for it. I want that to show up. We have our steps for our step side, and that piece goes back in the box. Next up, oh, look at the front end. Ford, really nicely detailed here. Now, that's predominant to where it won't be hard to do. And then this will be for our turn signals. Not sure where that goes at all. Looks like it might be uh, behind the dash somehow. A steering column maybe. Not positive. And then there's one, two, three drive shafts on this one. And I thought we had a drive shaft somewhere else, but I could be wrong. Now, I'm not going to go digging for it, but there's three of them. So there's at least three different options or three different styles of Ford truck that they're doing. Um, and I know they have a service truck that I really like. Check out the sides. Those are nice steps. I love the flare sides. That's just, uh, it, that's just something I've always liked where the flare side trucks, the inside uh, of the bed, the outside of the bed with the frame. And you can see nice deep marks for the um, step sides to go in and a couple of fairly decent sized panel marks that I think we'll have to deal with because they might show up even if the wheels are there. Then we have our, our bump bumper, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what that is because this is narrower than the other one and we did see that other big bumper on that one. So that's probably the small bumper that you need for this one. All right, dig into some more. Good golly, we have a V8. Um, <laughs> we got a V8 intake, a big air cleaner, and a bunch of other stuff here. Like a really small hose. Looks like an oil. This looks like a windshield washer uh, bag. It sure is. Windshield washer bag. The horns, maybe? Yep, those are horns. I just looked down with my visor. Another vent. I'm not even sure what the heck that is. Might be a fuel pump. And that looks like it could be hood latches, but I'm not sure that either. And I'm not going to even try to guess, because I'll just be wasting your time and mine. Let's look at this. Nice Ford emblem in the seat. Nice, nice pleating in these seats. This will be easy as pie if you wanted to two-tone it. Real easy. Nice door panels. Very prominent with those uh, molds. They really stick out nice. They'll be easy to highlight. And I'm sure we can do something cool with them too. And these, if you wanted to, they stick out far enough to where if you wanted somehow to do that, you could go in there and you could do piping on this. Seriously. I don't think the style I'm going to do is going to have piping. This isn't going to be a fancied up truck at all. But if you wanted to, you could leave that bench in there and you could make that really look cool as a hot rod. Drop a V8 in this thing. <laughs> you know, easy to do. Check out the uh, carpet. This is like the last one I did where the carpet sticks out. The uh, Skyliner was this way, where the carpet was really uh, nicely done. I painted it flat black, and then I came over that, and I painted it with the interior color that I wanted, and the flat black showed up just enough through it to where it looked like I flocked it. Now, let's go with the hood. The hood's looking good. I have, yep, there's a shrink mark here. I can feel it. 
and a shrink mark there. I bet you any money that's where yeah, that's where your hood latches go. And when it was molded, when it cooled off, it shrunk and, and uh, it pulled a dimple in on both sides. Right here where these were a little bit thicker than the rest of the hood. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have six um, extrusion marks on this. We'll have to deal with those because those will surely show up. But we have a nice looking underside here. A couple of, God, I think those are pin marks, but I'm not sure. Those are pretty heavy. Yeah, they got to be extrusion marks. We'll have to deal with those, but we won't do anything until we look into it because God only knows that might be where the frame goes. <laughs> So there's that. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here on uh, parts. But I don't know if you noticed, there's a lot of them. And a lot of them are, are like doubled up. So there's going to be a lot in there that's going into the parts box too. Look at that dash. Really nice dash. Turn on the AM radio and listen to some KDKA. Oh yeah, buddy. Nice. The firewall doesn't have any wires molded in it, and that's good because I've kind of dropped the ball on firewalls and wiring that I feel like I need to start stepping it up a little bit and doing more wiring in the back and around the interior just to make it look more realistic. Now the other side of the door panel, look at the little screws in there so you can take that out and work on the uh, window mechanism. Really nice. There's our radiator. Radiator. Uh, <laughs> speaker cover. <laughs> okay. Now, let's grab some chrome. Don't think we'll be using these, but they're there if we wanted to. Those are sharp. You know what? Those might end up on the next Roads Dry build. I like those. Move them off to the side. Whoa open grill fine that is so finely done and that chrome doesn't look like toy tonka chrome that looks like real laid down no messing uh chrome on a on a one-to-one -one. beautiful we're going to put that right back in the bag no scratching on that. And I'm telling you, I think those would look cool on my Roadster. Put that back in the box. And this I already cut open and I, I pulled this out as soon as I saw it. So I can act surprised, but I'm going to just tell you this is beautiful. Look at those. Those are going to go so nice on those dealies. <laughs> I love it. And then we have our, there's a V8 emblem and a V6, or in a straight six emblem. We have the two small mirrors. And then we have the uh, um, Ford logo where that decal with the twin I-beam decal go in there that we saw at the beginning. <laughs> that I saw at the beginning, you did not. So let's see it right now twin eye beams custom cab i can't even read what those are but then we have some gauges and three license plates and that is it, it says truck 71 11 20 but all of them indiana 66 We'll probably leave it Indiana 66. Not sure. But yeah, that'll be where the twin I beam goes. Detail is phenomenal. I am just still in awe of the detail of this kit. Get those back in the bag because I don't want all that chrome to get scratched. It's done so well. It's not, like I keep saying, it's not that toy shiny chrome. Here is a bag of red. Our taillights say Ford. 
on them. Nicely done. I'm sure there's chrome somewhere that those go on. Could be wrong. Again, like I said, I don't know Fords that well. This, I opened up before and pulled out, and I'm telling you, that is the clearest glass that I have ever seen in all the years that I've been doing model kits, and that's back into the 60s, guys. <laughs> I mean, that is nice looking glass. Front and back window are beautifully done, but one thing that I noticed on these, and I'm gonna show you right now, is this is your chrome right here so you have to do this like an airplane where you're you're showing your chrome on here and then not on the not on the body we'll bring that body over here in a second but boy even the the um headlights are just crazy and there's two of them one of them's just blast and clear like the old the old style and then we have the the ones with the ribs not sure which ones they want us to use we have a couple of marker lights not sure if those are even gonna get used we have two other sets of clears not sure what they are but man just unbelievable and it's it's kind of thick glass but since it's so clear, it doesn't look thick at all. So we're getting that back in this bag. I, I told you I was, I was really blown away by how clear that was. Now we got more parts. Not a lot of this. I don't think we're going to use a whole smack lot of these. Um, we have for a six cylinder. Uh, it looks like a V6 or maybe a small V8. We have, these are going to get used. These are our door latches. A uh, chrome vent. This is going to get used. It's our rear view mirror. And then we have a couple of dog dishes. And look at this. We got one, two, three. And then flip it over and you get four. So <laughs> I don't know how that ended up that way in the mold. Because it doesn't look like it was twisted. But that's pretty sharp. I mean those door latches alone but then again what doesn't get used here goes in the parts box and speaking of how many mirrors do you need <laughs> we have one set two sets three sets we have windshield wipers that are done really well and then another set of valve covers so you have two sets see this is what I was talking about one engine smaller than the other these valve covers are way smaller but they're still they're all sharp so you could have this where you're pulling a cattle truck or something like that and you could put on the on the tow mirrors you know I mean just as easy as you could put on the ones I have I'll show you this body here in a second I'll show you this body here right now and it's a lot better body than what mine looks like. I'll tell you that. Check this out. Straight up beautiful Ford body. Nice. The only chrome that's on this kit that isn't um, a separate piece, there's two of them. You have the gutter that runs from right here all the way around to right here. That's going to be chrome and the door lock. <laughs> All the rest of it is is part of the kit. I mean, it's a separate parts. But see, you could do whatever mirror you wanted on there. If you wanted the big mirrors, you could slap those big mirrors on there. No problem. Because nothing's drilled. So you'll have to drill them out. The door latch is drilled. The I, twin I-beam Ford is drilled. The windshield wipers are drilled. Look at how nice that vent is. Look at just, look at how nice everything is. Inside the, the wheel wells. 
but it's those are the only parts that are drilled out there. So you could use whatever mirror you wanted. Let's come back to those bumpers. You know, we we will be using this bumper. I don't think this bumper gets well, it might, because that fender, that fair might go all the way back, but I'm not sure. But anyhow, beautiful. The interior, we have a couple of mold line or a couple of uh, extrusion marks to deal with, but I don't know if we need to worry about these two because of the uh, visor is going to go there. These ones we sure will. But other than that, look at here. They have marks in here. I wonder if that's where you're supposed to drill for certain mirrors. We'll find out down the road when we start building this. And the other thing I noticed is right here, there is a little piece molded in here that comes around and stops for our vent window. And I'm pretty sure that that piece will get painted black as the rubber where that vent comes over and seals because it turns this way. So it catches the air and drives it in at you. They would open up, they didn't open like this, they open kind of like that to drive air in. If I remember my vent windows right. And again, I'm probably wrong on that too. No, I know they opened out that way because they would be sticking in at you. But that would be the rubber seal for when that closes up. So there we go. The Mobius. Ford F100 uh, flare side, beautiful. It's, it's, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I am going to do the Eldorado before I build this. Uh, that Eldorado is just calling me because of that double split uh, body. But anyhow, I will let you go. I think Mobius has done a great job with this mold. We'll see how everything goes together when we build it. But just as a mold standpoint, this is pretty darn nice. You guys all have a great night, and thanks for sticking around till the end. I'll see you later.